and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I have another bike to talk about that might interest you. Particularly if you're looking for a folding bike. There seems to be a lot of folding bikes out there these days. Uh, it's become a a growing model. Uh, so this bike I'm going to talk about today is called the Wild Way Fat Tire Folding Bike. And it uh, has 20 by 4 inch wheels. It's a 750 watt 48 volt motor that peaks at a thousand watts. And the big thing about this bike that's kind of the big seller is the fact that it has a whopping 48 volt whopping 32 amp hour battery. That's a huge battery. For a single battery on a folding bike, I've never seen that before, that big of a battery. And the battery weighs in at 19.5 uh, pounds. So it's got a lot of weight. Some of the other uh, features on this bike. Uh, I should say the load capacity, that's uh, 330 pounds. It does have hydro hydraulic uh, disc brake. And it has the uh, tail light headlight and uh, brake light. The, uh, I should mention the torque. The torque on this bike is 80 Newton meters. It is a, gear, a geared uh, hub motor. It has something I don't see too often uh, on bikes, and that is it does have a cruise control, which is always something I'm advocating for. I kind of like the cruise control. Especially if you're going longer distances, uh, road miles, I would say. Let's see if I can remember some more things on this bike. It does come with fenders. I don't know how great these fenders are. They're plastic fenders. It has a color LCD display, which is always nice. I like the colored one uh, over the uh, black and white. I'm sure most of us feel the same way. I like my uh, display to be a little on the larger side and colored if I had a preference. The uh, expected range The expected range said 65, it sounded like 65 throttling and 100 miles pedal assist 1 I'm not so sure you'd get 65 miles but or 100 in pedal assist one, but I've not done a test on the bike, so I don't know for a fact. So I can't really say, I'm just gonna go by what they claim. Uh, it does have a passenger seat as well. And that passenger seat also has a backrest and So the payload capacity on the bike is 330 pounds where the rear passenger would be 110 pounds. So basically you're taking a, a very light person or 
child on the back or you can remove the seat and just use it as a cargo bike to uh, uh, take other uh, groceries or whichever so the bike does come in two different uh, styles it comes in the step over or step through models two colors choice of green or gray I would personally pick the green one on this bike it's kind of a bright green but I like it I don't mind it it's something different and the cost of this bike is $1,399 free shipping I will leave a link in the descriptions uh, so you can get a uh, full look at the bike and, and read the uh, full specs and review uh, for yourself the bike and I gotta be honest I've never heard of Wild Way before but they do have more than just this bike they have other bikes as well but uh anyway it's another one to check out and I think the price $13.99 is actually pretty reasonable I don't know if I mentioned already but it does have I don't think I did a front suspension and hydraulic disc brakes I think I mentioned that already I don't know how many uh, pedal assist levels it has I don't know also about the controller as I say it looks good but lots of bikes look good it's not only looks we want performance as well but uh, you might want to check it out anyway I will as I say leave a description or a link in the description below let me know what you think do you think it's worth it $13.99 sounds like a lot but I think in this case having a battery that's a whopping 32 amp hour that's probably where a good chunk of your money is going right there because that battery like I've never even as I say I've never even seen that big of a battery on a folding bike before so I do notice a couple of trends uh, lately where not in this case uh, for this bike but where the voltage is going up I'm seeing more 60 volts now which I kind of like and also uh, bigger batteries they're putting larger batteries now in bikes gradually I'd rather I think have one large battery than two smaller ones but I'd rather have two large ones I guess that might even be better but then you're going to carry a lot of weight and it's going to be very uh, pricey all right well that's going to do it for this video here on the channel once again thank you for coming along for the ride this time around if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel please do hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified as to when the next video is up so once again thank you for joining me on this video And until next time. Take care.